I'm going to get real personal here, so bear with me. One question that was always on my mind, and also asked by lots of people in forums and blogs was, does herpes make you a bad person? Well, here's my thoughts on it. Herpes is a virus. It has no feelings, no thoughts, and no regrets. All that knows how to do is react to your body's state and become active and retreat back to its hiding spot. So the idea that herpes makes you a bad person is just silly. Now, I can understand where lots of self-blame and anger could come from. Believe me, I experienced so much blame and anger towards myself and the world at large for this virus. I used to curse at myself in the mirror, telling myself I was worthless and no one would ever like me because I had herpes, and for a while I believed it, but as I matured and got a handle on my outbreaks, eventually eliminating the virus completely, I realized that this virus and me have nothing in common. Think about this, the virus just lives in your body, but you are not just your body. You are an amazing spirit who gives life to this body that you call your home while you experience this incredible, exciting journey called life. How could a little virus like herpes ever diminish that? The answer is, it can't. Only you can diminish yourself by your own thoughts and actions about herpes. If anything, I would say herpes makes you a better person, because it forces you to realize how harsh judgment can be, and makes you humble and less judging of others because you know what it's like. It makes you strong and resilient. Because there's so much social stigma around it that you have to keep your head held high and realize that even though you may have this virus in your body, you still have the power to make positive choices that improve your health and your life. Everyone else, they don't have to deal with the worry, stress, or judgment from others. They have no idea what we've gone through. And that's what makes us so amazing. Herpes isn't a virus to me anymore. It's a journey. As soon as you accept that, you can be free from it. By the way. My book My Last Outbreak shows you how to begin that journey from suffering to freedom and joy. Check it out here. www.mylastoutbreak.com